Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. We're gonna do. We're gonna. Kaden, please don't. We're gonna do Aquarius. I love you. Sorry, guys. I have to get these done. It's Sunday. Kids are home and they're rambunctious. Lots to do. Okay. So, what I'm going to do this is gonna be your first two weeks of December. Okay. Um, how I'm doing it is a little different. I'm, I'm reading your energy and then the surrounding energy, but it could be vice versa. It just depends on how powerful and, and what type of energy you got around you, okay? Um, I'm just going to briefly do the other surrounding energy. So, right now we're going to do Aquarius. Let's find out what's going on with Aquarius. First two weeks of December 2019, please, Aquarius. Whoa. So we have the Queen of Swords, Fairness. We got the Two of Pentacles. This one talks about flexibility. So you definitely want something going in your direction. Lots of, not lots, I was going to say lots of Libra energy, but it's not lots of Libra energy. It's lots of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. Um, you have three cups and the queen of pence. What's the damn word I was looking for? Um, it's like, to me, they, they both speak of balance, right? These two right off the board, right off the rip. Libra, Justice. The bit the, carrying the scales. I, I can't remember the word I was looking for. Sorry. Um, I feel like there's definitely juggling. Because this is not your energy. This is not dating. So. see what this is about. Let's see what this is about, my little Aquarians. I feel like you got two different women. Because the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pence is not the same woman. I, I mean, this is a third party. This is juggling all damn day. And, it, and it's almost like you, this is the permanent one. Like this would be the wife or the permanent relationship. But you're juggling between a Libra and a Taurus, that's how it's just coming in. You're more focused on the Taurus. This one has more ambition. This one's all about fairness. It, it's almost like, I don't know if you're dealing with someone who whines, because it's like, I just got very whiny energy, and normally the Queen of Swords is not whiny. So tell me about the Queen of Swords. This is definitely somebody juggling two women. Mind you, these this deck of cards is all women. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Aquarius, 2019, December, first two weeks. Close. This one is definitely not happy, not moving forward. There's no sense of adventure. I feel like this is somebody's moon, an Aquarius moon. All right, so carrying a lot of weight. It's, it's almost like this energy knows you're juggling, but will continue to carry the weight. Like, we'll, we'll fight for you, even though she got cheated on. Oh, boy. Tell me about the Two of Pence. It's like, not giving up. Yeah, see, you're juggling. 
It's the Queen of Wands. Juggling women. Or men. Tell me about the Three of Cups. There's some type of rebirth, though. So if you ask me, you lost somebody in the third party. So it's no longer a third party. It definitely was, though. Something's getting revealed. The third party, if you ask me, is getting revealed in order for you to have a new start. Gemini had that same exact energy to an ending with the same outcome. The moon was clarified with the Ace of Pents. That was at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the moon. So something gets exposed. Okay. Yeah, a secret comes to light for sure. So someone finds out about a third party. It looks like it might end a marriage. But it's almost like if she's the wife of the permanent girlfriend, she doesn't want to give up. She's going to fight. And, and it's like, I heard, it's almost like whining and I hate to say that. But it, it's like, what are you, if this is you, why are you fighting for somebody who's cheating on you? I, I know it sounds awful, but it's, it's the truth. Like, it, it's almost like you haven't learned any comic lessons. It, it's like, oh, it's okay. Or it's like you know about it and you're not saying anything, but when it does get exposed, you're still going to fight for this particular gentleman. This third party, I know it sounds crazy, was meant to go down exactly the way it was meant to go down. People come into your life for a reason. It was destined, unfortunately. Well, fortunately for some and unfortunate for others. But it's like still not learning a lesson. Tell me about the Queen of Pence. So it looks like someone has a Libra for a wife but was having an affair with either a Sagittarius or a Taurus. But again, it could be any signs, okay? So she put an end to something too. She's not completely healed from the situation either. You got the hangman right here too with a, a new stat. So she put an end to something too. Tell me about the Queen of Pence. And it's ironic because the Queen of Pence actually came up in the Aquarius as not putting energy into it anymore. Yeah, so she's she's fighting off any surrounding energy. She's not she's not taking no one's bullshit. That is for sure. She's very strong. She's ambitious. She's moving forward. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Surprise, that's reversed. Doesn't seem fitting for some reason right, right there. That's too many Four of Swords, please. Let's figure that out real quick. The wheel. So she wasn't happy about it by any means. But again, next to the high priestess, this is this is destiny. Whatever went down was meant to go down. Like something's gonna go in her direction though. She has the wheel. The comic wheel's gonna turn in her direction. Well, karma's catching up to the third party. But it is still because again it looks like it ends a marriage. Like that decision came through strong. Holy shit with the this. Oh, and the sun. Holy crap. Go watch Aquarius. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. It's not Aquarius. I didn't even do Aquarius yet. You're damn Aquarius. What the friggle sticks. It was Gemini. And I've been saying Aquarius the whole time. I don't know if you're dealing with another Aquarius. I think you are. Or... Man, that's so crazy that happened. You want to check out Gemini, my little Aquarians. But it's funny because when I started this, I was thinking of 
of um, every air sign, Aries, but not every air sign, but Aries too. So I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, dealing with an Aries. <clears throat> Yeah, see, something karmic needs to end for something to go the right way here. It looks like you're dealing with somebody who stood up for who she was, what she believed in. She ended, she ended the, a karmic cycle. She didn't want to be part of a third party. But it looks like things are going to turn in her direction. Huh. All right, Aquarius. Some of you are dealing with a strong Aries or whoever. It is so crazy. I'm picking up on that, but it's not on the board. Aquarius, please. So be candid, it's a seven. Um, just gonna give you a brief a brief description. But it's the essential to express the truth, and, and that's definitely going down. The truth being exposed. Okay. The situation is asking you to express, get rid of the past, try to get rid of it. The your best thing is not staying quiet and swallowing your words. You gotta have faith, you gotta have open communication in order to resolve something, any type of situation. Okay, um, represents the throat chakra, so somebody needs to speak. Okay, good communication and speak from the heart is key in this situation. All right, my little Aquarians, um, as long as you have truthful communication, you're probably going to get that true intimacy you're looking for. All right, it's um, emotional balance needs to be stabilized here. See what the other energy. See what's going on with the other energy. Yeah, it looks like she ended something because of her morals. So even if the third party is over, it's still being exposed. It's karmic. I don't know where it ends up going. I will tell you with the Gemini, it looks like it was coming full circle. But it's a Saturn. Clear and karma. Someone's not using their soul, their heart to speak through, to express. That's key right now. This is a hard predicament because it's like, if this is the wife or the girlfriend, it's like I'm telling you, they don't want to go nowhere. It's almost like they know about it and it's going to be exposed. But they're still going to fight. This one already left. Man, tell me about the nine of wands real quick. Way too many, but let's see what story it's telling us. Oh, that's way too many. But, yeah, so it's almost like her energy again, Queen of Swords, right? It's like she gets a message about deception, but is like, but is like only focused on her own family or money. It's almost like, no, you're not having a new stat. So this one, this energy is going to fight to stay in something, but it's it's over. Tell me about the world. I don't think there's, I don't, it's almost like if you're an Aquarius, you need to walk away from it. I think you will too. 
All right. So yeah, there was definitely a third party. You know, it is. She's looking at it as it, it's it's a loss. Everybody loses. <clears throat> but um, she's not gonna want to let go after it gets exposed. But the secret's coming out, so I don't know what the gentleman's going to end up doing because, to be honest with you, he's not even showing his face. And, I mean, I threw an awful lot of cards, and he still doesn't want to make an appearance. So, I think this one is the gentleman trying to sit back. I think this is my Aquarius trying to sit back and figure out what on earth. So let's find out about this other energy. And to be honest with you, it, it's, it's going to be tough for you guys to figure out who's who. Because right now, it, it's, it's like Aquarius doesn't even want to show its face or whomever you're dealing with, vice versa, however it works. The, it's the energy of two different women. The long-term relationship and the one they had an affair with. You know, so I don't know whose who's energy is going to come out, you know. So I, I guess it's only fair to do one of each. Tell me about, I mean, we already kind of know her energy. She's not, you know, so let's just briefly do the Queen of Swords. And she came up prominent. So somebody you asked me is dealing with a Libra. <clears throat> this could be the Aquarius right there wanting a new stop, but it's like she doesn't want to allow it. Yeah, see, it's almost like she's just going to keep offering. It's almost like it's okay, or it's like the universe is almost like what it's saying to me is the universe is almost like giving her her out. And and it's like she doesn't she doesn't want it. Like she's content staying in, in her situation. Yeah, see, she's not going to, she's going to want a new start. She's awfully harsh with the way she communicates, but she's not going to get it. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Secret's going to be exposed. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to go in her direction, or, or nothing right now is going in her direction. It's unfortunate. Um, I don't even see a lesson being learned, which is even harder for whoever... It, is willing to take back the person who had an infidelity. So tell me about the Queen of Pence. Seven of Pence, you know, she's she's definitely reviewing what's going down in her life. Okay. Coming out of toxicity. coming out of a karmic cycle herself because she was wrapped in this karmic cycle too. But if you ask me, she has enough love in herself. And there's a new offer of love coming her way too or fulfillment or she's about to feel better. She's reevaluating her life. She's that flipped out. I don't know if you heard it, but... It looks like there's some type of two of cups come in her direction. Some type of connection. It's like coming full circle. Please go watch Gemini. So crazy. Any additional messages? Prince of Swords. Eight of Wands. Some type of clear cut communication coming in that's too many in, in somebody's coming in somebody's direction. Okay. So all right. I hope that helped. Um if you guys this is a general, okay, I am still offering readings. You will see in the description box below there will be um three different prices. It is all the same exact reading. It's just basically I have it set up that way so um, it's different pricing options. Let's see another way, okay? Um, to help help you guys out. 
So um, make sure if you go ahead and order a personal reading, you send your date of, your date of birth and your full name attached to the, the email. Okay. I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye.